Hi, welcome to a new module. This is about strain gauge, which is strain gauge user's guide. In fact, this is not a standard course or module in the civil engineering program. Not many civil engineering students will have the opportunity to deal with strain gauge. Strain gauge is normally used for experimental testing of materials and the structural element in the laboratory. It is more relevant to the research study, especially to those who are conducting testing in the laboratory. For the undergraduate students, only those are conducting final year project in the laboratory where the research topic is related to the testing of the materials or structural element in the laboratory have the opportunity to use strain gauge. Of course, this is provided that you have the luxury of sufficient supply of the strain gauge for you to carry out your testing. As for the postgraduate students, not all are using strain gauge. Only those who are doing experiment in the laboratory deal with strain gauge. Again, this is provided that the relevant research has sufficient supply of the strain gauge. In fact, this strain gauge here is a measuring instrument. It is a consumable. That means it can be only used once. After using it, the strain gauge damage. You cannot reuse the strain gauge. It is a highly specialized instrument with high level of accuracy. Therefore, it is rather expensive. Unless it is really necessary and the relevant topic is supported by sufficient fund, strain gauge may be used. With that, the topic about strain gauge is very specialized and niche. Only those actively work with strain gauge have some knowledge of strain gauge. Now this module here is to provide some guidance to the potential users of the strain gauge or for those postgraduate students who are conducting experimental tests in the laboratory to have an idea about the applications of the strain gauge. Personally, I first dealt with strain gauge long long time ago when I was a postgraduate student. During then, we do not have any standard module regarding the usage and applications of the strain gauge. There is no systematic guide for us to use strain gauge. We learn to use strain gauge from our seniors. We know what it is, what its function, how to use it, but we do not know the fundamentals. When we ask our seniors, they also cannot explain the heads and tails, as they also learn from their seniors. You know that the strain gauge is actually attached to the materials that we are testing. Selecting the right locations for the strain gauge to be attached using the right strain gauge, the proper ways to install strain gauge, the ways to protect strain gauge, connecting strain gauge to the data logger, setting the data loggers, and etc. All this require highly specialized knowledge. What we did previously, we install the strain gauge, get everything ready, connect the strain gauge to the data logger, and then seek assistance from the technicians to do the setting for the data loggers. That means we're only aware of parts of the applications of the strain gauge. In fact, we have various types of strain gauge due to our limited knowledge regarding the strain gauge. Only two common types of strain gauge we use. One is for steel, another one is for concrete. That means we only know the basic features of the strain gauge. This become our limitations in conducting more advanced testing. During then, I thought of myself, if one day someone can give a 
thorough guide regarding the usage of the strength Probably this will unleash more possibility in the research study. With that, this lead to this module, Strength Gauge Users Guide. At least for those who need to use Strength Gauge, who is also eager to know inside out regarding the Strength Gauge, you have some more systematic source of information by going through this module. Next, we talk about the reference that I use that constitute the contents of this module. These are the two main references. They are coming from the same brand and the same company. This is the Strengage User's Guide and this is about the Strengage products. You can access the relevant references from the internet. In fact, there may be other brands of the Strengage. Since that I was using this during my postgraduate study, I am more familiar with this. Therefore, most of our discussions will be based on this. If you are using the other brand, also never mind. The principle is similar. The purpose here is to educate the postgraduate students on the applications and the usage of these languages. It is purely for education purposes.